What's happening? This is Lucy Polgar from Last Bastion, sponsored by Fight Division. I'm currently joined with Connor the Kid Coyle. We're going to go into that name in just a sec. Um, ahead of Saturday's bout. So, Connor, just talk to us a little bit about what we're doing here today first, like the media and the pictures and stuff. Like, what's the schedule looking like for you today? Um, well, the, getting through the media and the interviews done today, and then we're going to do our check weight, and then we have the public workout today as well, also. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we're pretty excited. You know, everything's been 100 mile an hour since yeah. we got here, so, you know, it's good, good good vibes to be around and uh, leading up into the fight night on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, talking about it being 100 mile an hour, you said uh, so far today in your career, this is sort of like the biggest, um, sort of the biggest lead up that you've experienced. So, so how are you finding the hype behind this one? Uh, no, it's it's very good. You know, it's uh, no, it's, it's good, good nerves and good, good excitement. You know, and it just it just builds up that uh, adrenaline for you know leading on the Saturday night, the big the big night where the night you need to perform. So you know, it's good, and I'm enjoying every moment of it. Just just taking it all in. I love it. So just talk to us. We were just talking a little bit off camera. Where did the name the kid come from? I love this. Um, well, a friend of mine, John Cooley, who I boxed with through my whole amateur career, he moved to Florida, um, and I moved over there and. Uh, they turned professional and he just in my first debut or my first fight uh, he he just wrote down in the paper what's his name he says Connor the Kid Coyle and I never changed it since and it just stuck by me the past six years so I'm, I not, love going that it, I'm not going to change it now I love that it's just such a like a such a simple beginning and now it's yeah, really stuck yeah. and now it's got it's got quite that tagline to it um, so speaking about Florida you've been training in Florida talk to us a little bit about, uh, about how that's been well as I was saying there uh, my my friend uh, John Cooley, he turned professional and told my Hall of Fame coach, John McLaughlin, that he had a friend back home who, who also wanted to turn pro. So he said, bring him over and see, you know, we'll see what he got. And wow. it just took off from, from there, you know, and we clicked as soon as I came on the gym the first, first day. He just, he, he seen what I had and he, he knew what it's, uh, he knew he would want to train me. So it just stuck by, stuck with, we just stuck with each other the whole time. Oh, so it's just been like a very natural progression. I love that. Um, so this is your UK debut as a professional boxer then. Um, how are you feeling? Because this is, this is quite a platform to be, to be doing it on. Um, what are we expecting to see from your Saturday in your debut? Well, I, I couldn't ask for you know, a bigger stage, you know, yeah. uh, know the rivals, so Eubank and Junior, you know, being on that stage and that platform, yeah. just being right underneath them, the fight before them, is just pretty exciting, you know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to just going on and doing what I do best and just performing and boxing to the highest of my ability and yeah. just looking good on the night. Yes, absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing it. And um, we do have to ask you, what are the predictions? Like, what are you saying for, uh, for Connor and Chris? Um, well, uh, I would think if the fight goes past six or eight rounds, I would say Ben might outwork him and they, you know, coming to the end. But mm -hmm. if uh, it's going to be, um, if, it, if, if Eubank's going to do him, I think it's going to be within the six, the, within yeah. six rounds, I think, hours. anyway. If it goes later, I would say Ben, early Eubank. I love it. That's been, that's been quite a popular opinion. And for yourself as well, what can we expect from you? Are we expecting you to go the distance? Are you looking for a knockout? Like, what's your, what's your sort of game plan on Saturday? Well, everyone wants a knockout, you know. Yeah. So, but in, in boxing, it only takes one, one punch to change the game. So that's I'm going to just go out and just perform the how, how I perform. And I see that if I see an opening, then I know we're going to take it. it. Everybody just, you know, everybody says the same thing. You want a knockout, of course. Yeah. You know, so you're not going to go looking for it or you're going to get knocked out yourself. So I'm going to just go out and box and just do what I do. And if I see the opening, of course, I'm going to take it. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. And after this, then, like I said, like, this is this is your debut. Um, obviously, if we get the result and it goes well, like, what's what's next to you like what are your next steps looking like for this here now you know this is my first big stage here in the uk and uh, i want to build up my fan base here in the uk and ireland across europe as well um because i've basically been stateside most of my, my whole career really mm -hmm. so um i would want to fight a lot more closer to home now especially at this stage in my career you know um you know uh, finishing off the last four or five years of my career I would like to be closer to home to my family as well you know so yeah. um, you know it's you know it's a good platform here now and I'm hoping that they continue fighting in the UK I love it well hopefully this is just the beginning I'm sure it will be we wish you the best of luck on Saturday and we've got your predictions so we will be revisiting and seeing and seeing how it unfolds thanks so thank much you, for chatting to us it. good luck on Saturday thank you, thank you. Here we go.